On November 13, 2024, the U.S. Air Force announced an expansion in orders for the initial prototypes of its Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, program. This decision, confirmed by Andrew Hunter, the U.S. Air Force's acquisition chief, aims to supply a newly formed experimental operations unit. This marks a pivotal move in developing autonomous capabilities within the American Air Force. The prototypes involved are Endurals Fury and General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated S Gambit. Chosen in April for the Increment 1 phase of the program, these aircraft represent the forefront of the Air Force's push toward integrating autonomous technology. The CCA program is designed to create drones that can operate alongside manned fighter jets like the F-35 and the upcoming NGAD, or Next Generation Air Dominance, aircraft. Equipped with advanced AI, these drones will enhance various mission types, including reconnaissance, electronic warfare, munitions transport, and targeted strikes, all while minimizing risks to human crews. Hunter highlighted that the increased orders are necessary to intensify experimentation with actual systems, which is crucial for assessing performance and refining operational capabilities before the targeted deployment by the end of the decade. However, the exact number of additional prototypes and their costs remain classified due to security protocols. The Air Force plans to conduct the first test flights of the prototypes in 2025. According to D.M. Salmon, Endural's Vice President for Air Dominance and Strike, this step ensures that the military can effectively test and develop operational concepts. Mark Brinkley, spokesperson for GASI, emphasized the importance of this experimental unit, noting that it plays a vital role in shaping trust, doctrines, and procedures essential for the successful integration of autonomous systems. Integrating autonomous aircraft into operations goes far beyond merely building the planes, Brinkley stated, underscoring that this initiative gives the Air Force a unique chance to address the complex challenges that come with employing these advanced technologies. Funding from the fiscal 2024 budget supported the creation of this unit, whose mission is to explore how autonomous aircraft can be incorporated into real-world operations. This effort includes training advanced autonomy algorithms, a key component distinct from a hardware development phase. A recent achievement for the CCA program includes completing a critical design review in October for both prototypes. Colonel Timothy Helfrich, who leads advanced aircraft programs within the Air Force Material Command, confirmed this during the Mitchell Institute Air Power Futures Forum. He stressed the importance of maintaining the original schedule without incorporating new features that could cause delays. Any additional capabilities will be added to the Increment 2 prototypes, which are currently in the specification phase. We are very close to starting Increment 2 in earnest, Helfrich noted, pointing out that this phase is essential for solidifying the capabilities of CCAs and their future role in Air Force operations. With these initiatives, the U.S. Air Force continues to advance in its goal of integrating sophisticated autonomous technologies, reshaping tactics and doctrines to better respond to modern conflict challenges. Thank you.